collect call from Matthew Park. Do you accept the charges? Yeah. Hey, Jonathan, is the show done yet? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So everything's on the timeline? Well, everything but football. Football? Oh, geez. Yeah. So I seen it yesterday, I thought. Is Shanique done yet? I don't know. She's right here. Want me to put it on speaker? Speaker? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Park? You done with football? Yeah. Just need to move to the timeline, okay? Okay. Yeah? Sounds good. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, Longhorns. I'm Jonathan Brown, and welcome to the Halloween edition of JFD TV for Friday, October 26th. For this week's top story, reporter Janelle Gonzalez got an inside look at the efforts Dolby has made towards a hurricane micro relief program. People haven't evacuated yet. That city hasn't had a direct hit from a hurricane since 1895. donations benefit the people of Panama City? Well, obviously from last year with Harvey, we understand that there's a need for just simple supplies like toilet paper, paper towels, things of that nature. So, you know, we just want to be able to do everything that we can to help pay it forward. These donations are going to help so many people out because they lost so much of what they have in Florida. Their roofs are gone, their, their houses are collapsed, and many are just completely washed away. So these are going to help them have those basic needs that we take for granted every day. But we're hoping that we've chosen items that will benefit them immediately. Since we all know firsthand what it's like, I think it's really important that we put ourselves in their shoes. What would you like to say to the people of Panama City? You know that we're praying for them. Uh, we've been there, we've done that, and we've recovered and, and came back even stronger, and we know that they will too. And we just hope that these uh, supplies just go uh, help them in the recovery efforts. Just a little bit of help that we can give makes it a brighter day for them. To stay strong and to know that so many people are thinking of them and keeping them in our thoughts and prayers. Those affected by the hurricane in Panama City are in our thoughts and prayers. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Janelle Gonzalez. This past weekend, our Adobe Marching Band performed that competition, bringing home some great news as well as many memories. Here's production manager Rocio Jimenez with a closer look. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. What role does teamwork play on the field? Um, it's helping each other count and just like looking at each other and knowing our work. Teamwork plays a vital role in our band because it's such a large organization and we have to all come together to form an eight minute show that just shows how, how good we are and how powerful we are. How has this contest season been different from the last? It's been very different from the last because last year we did amazing, but this year, this year we just elevated just to a whole new level. Um, last contest season was good, but however, this contest season was extremely well because we had great leadership and we had more intricate drill and music and it just really expanded our expectations for this contest season. Make sure to congratulate our band on winning sweepstakes and continue to support them throughout their season. Reporting for JFT TV, I'm Rocio Jimenez. Reporter Mariah Macias hit the cafeteria with some Halloween trickery. What movie scares you the most and why? Frozen, because there's a talking, a talking snowman, like what, where does that come from? If you had to spend the night in a haunted house, who would you want with you and why? Um, I would want my friends because I would like push them so they can kill them first and then I would save myself. I don't know what that guy's name is, but the dude that says the joke of the day, 
because it's kind of funny. It'll keep me from getting scared. You? Because you look like the Catch Me Outside girl, you know what I'm saying? I'm alone and you hear footsteps in your house. What's the first thing you're going to do? Hi. I'm hitting a 100 meter dash. Man, I ain't going to lie. I'm running out the house. Ah! Oh, my God. There's 13 pieces of candy. All but eight are eaten. How many are left? Uh, Eight. Five. Eight. Five. Thirty minus eight is seven, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> wait. None? Y'all should know. It's me. They close to it. Oh, wait. Eight. Six. Eight. Eight. Because all but what? eight. Come on. <laughs> Looks like our students are ready for a spooky Halloween. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Mariah Messias. Don't forget the House of Horrors opens tonight at 7 with door prizes and the costume contest. And now... Here's sports. Hey guys, I'm Jordan Garcia and your Longhorn Sports Report starts now. Our football team recently went up against Atascacita. Here's Jonathan Brown with all the highlights. Boys had an unfortunate loss of 44 to 7. Hanging from the poplar trees, from the poplar trees. Darius Hill ran 70 yards with 14 carries. Number 28, Dontavian Crosby ran 26 yards with 8 carries. Number 14, Noah Roman ran 16 yards with 7 carries. Number 20, Chris Morris ran 100 yards with 20 carries, scoring a touchdown. Make sure to come support our Adobe Longhorns at the Veterans Memorial Stadium as they face off against the Sam Rayburn Texans tonight at 7. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Jonathan Brown. While the game was underway, reporter Janelle Ross got a chance to challenge our crowd. From beside me, cause I want ya and I need ya and I never ever. <laughs> cause I want ya and I need ya and I die for you always. Stay beside me, cause I want ya and I need ya. Life is amazing, it is what it should be. Been up for years, but I feel like I'm working. I told her look up to the stone and took That's it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a baby. When, when, when? I'm a little baby. When whip got no keys, oh my throat hurt. My throat. Head over heels in love. Right in front of me. Daddy, you ain't got no more, baby. My mama feels the love. Everything you want, you ain't got it. What is that? We got it. It just don't stop. It go butter, put up. Take it out. Check it for the young bucks sitting in the honky tonk. Knock, knock. It looks like our crowd needs to pay more attention to the game. Reporting for JV TV, I'm Shanique Brown. And I'm Janelle Adels. Volleyball had a game Tuesday night. Reporter Jalen Hill went out to capture all the action.
Unfortunately, Our Lady Longhorns lost in three straight sets. Despite the loss, how do you think y'all did overall? I think we did pretty good. We just need to come together more as a team. You know? What do you think the team could improve on? I think we could improve on just communicating more on the court and just putting the ball down. Wish our Lady Longhorns good luck as they make it to playoffs. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Jalen Hill. Dovey Cross Country is winding down a successful season. Reporter Leah Plancarte got a chance to interview some of our outstanding performers. I had the chance to catch up with one of our regional qualifiers. What would you like to say to your coaches and teammates that have helped you out through the season? I would like to tell them thank you for supporting me and the other girl Izzy because they truly grew a family around me and I feel like even after the season's over they're still going to be there pushing me through the next um, sport. How did you prepare yourself for regionals? By preparing myself for regionals, what I did was focus on my goals and made sure I pushed my team with me as I ran and also just do what I had to do in order to make it. How did it feel to be top 100 in regional? I was really grateful. It took me a long time to get there. It took a lot of hard work and I'm just very happy I pushed myself to PR and also do better than I did last year. It felt good because I'm only a freshman. So the fact that I qualified for regionals, I was very excited and it made me feel confident in myself for the next coming years. Make sure to congratulate our cross country girls for their successful season. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Malia Plincarte. That'll do it for your Longhorn Sports Report. Now back to Jonathan. <gasps> Thanks Jordan. And now here's a look at next week's Spirit Days. Spirit Week starts next week, and make sure you start off strong by going red out on Monday. On Tuesday, lay off drugs and go Hawaiian. Wednesday, be drug free and be your favorite meme. Thursday, shine out and be your favorite celebrity. And to finish it off, Decade Day on Friday. For any information regarding the Spirit Days, stop by room 252. Reporting for JDTV, I'm Michael Reyes. Student Council sent out a big thanks to one of the hardest working groups in our campus. Our custodians make a great effort every day to ensure that our school is at its best. We took the time to appreciate them by making them a special breakfast. Come look. Buenos días, espero que haya disfrutado de este detalle que ya sé que es poco a lo mucho que ustedes hacen. ¿Cómo se llama? Buenos días, yo mi nombre es Domitila Canales. María Parras. Emma Freire. ¿Qué le pareció este detalle que se hizo con mucho cariño y amor? Muy agradecida y me pareció excelente. Muy bonito detalle. ¿Tiene algunas palabras para los estudiantes de la escuela? Ah, pues que estamos muy contentas y muy, muy contentas y muy agradecidas porque los estudiantes nos dan trabajo. Estamos contentas que estén en esta escuela y, y que sigan adelante. Thank you and we appreciate it. Por mi parte les quiero dar las gracias por todo lo que hacen por nosotros y espero que sigan disfrutando de, de esto. Mucho porque el tiempo que estamos en verano nos sentimos tristes porque nos hacen falta ustedes. <laughs> so, sí. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate everything that you do. We love, we love and are very grateful for you. Go Horns. We literally make a lot of mess and they do so much for us. And yeah, we appreciate them very much. Thank you. Our staff is the hardest working staff in the state of Texas. I think our building is the best looking building in the state of Texas and it's all because of the work that they do for us. So we really appreciate all of your hard work. Student Council loves our custodians. Thank you. That'll be all for this week's show. To watch past episodes, make sure to stay tuned on YouTube and SchoolTube and follow us on Twitter at JFD underscore TV for our latest updates. We hope you have an amazing Halloween and we'll see you back here next week. <laughs>